What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now we're going to be talking about how you can get a free 94 overall aka cruise player, champion player specifically. You cannot get the limiteds. A lot of you guys have been asking about the limiteds and I keep telling you guys, limiteds have always been outside of the free content. That's what draws people in to spend the money. So if you're new to Ultimate Team and you say for instance you go into Ultimate Team, right? And uh you go and you, you know, you get a bundle whatever whatever's in it. These are my unopened packs. I meant to just go to the store. Say you go in here, right? And there's something that you'll dabble with. Now, like I said, for me, I don't really go crazy with the packs in the store unless it's something that's guaranteed because I don't really like the odds in the game, right? So I don't really say, yo, this pack is good or that pack's good. It's only specific things that I'll tell you to take a chance on. Like these one coin offers, it's a no brainer. It's one coin, right? Um, some of the packs that you get as you go through the actual programs uh, that unlock at the end, um, the, like the special offers these are usually decent packs because they give you certain things that are guaranteed But overall I stay away from stuff and the reason that I'm bringing this up is because some of you guys are going to pull Limiteds out of these packs and hold on to them, right? The good thing about Limiteds, right? When you when you get a specific card and you know that the value is high Even if you're gonna you know later on go back and get the card the height of the way that the price is gonna work Usually is when it's out of packs all right when people are still currently able to get the card the prices don't like really fluctuate that crazy you know it'll it'll be like you know like calvin johnson right i got calvin johnson i bought him i didn't like his card so i sold him for like 2.1 mil and that's around where he is right now but at the height of it he started closer to 3 million but you know as the prices drive down when they first come out you have to figure out when it's time to get rid of them and again, if you're looking to get limiteds, if you need help and you you know you got a question about certain packs, I'm usually streaming on YouTube. I'm on uh, Twitch. You can come in, drop by, see what's going on, see what the best packs that are available for that day are, and you probably will get lucky. But I just want you guys to understand, limiteds are not included when people are looking for the 94 overalls or whatever the overalls are. The champions are the only things that you can actually put together the actual cards to get it done for free. All right, so now what I'm going to do is really quickly, I'm going to bring up the cards and show you what we're looking for right now so you guys have a little understanding of what's going on, and then I'm going to jump right back into it. So the first card is going to be Steve McNair, Air McNair. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. EA Sports is very, very lazy. They didn't care about changing his, changing his card art. They're like, yo, you know what? These guys won't notice. They're idiots. And yes, I am an idiot, so I didn't notice. Not... EA, you could give us a new Air McNair, dog. Like, get, hire an artist. Like, there's so many people out there, graphic designers that are willing to work for you guys. Get somebody out there. Let's start getting some new card arts out there, guys, because it's starting to get a little boring, dude. But anyway, this card is probably going to be very, very expensive, and he is the limited for tomorrow. Now, as these videos drop and you see the differences in the overall, that's going to distinguish how you're going to get the card. For instance, when the actual champions turn to 95s, the limiteds will then be 96s, and we will go about it a different way. So take note of the actual overalls of the cards. That is extremely important, especially for my no money spent guys that are grinding and looking to try to get a lot of these cards. Sometimes it's almost impossible to afford these cards if you're not careful with your spending and how you go about uh, getting these cards, all right? So overall, his numbers are very, very good. With any kind of boost, he's going to be a 99 throw power. He probably could throw him on that uh, 60 of 60 um, NFL uh, playoff team, uh, theme team and get him the 96 speed. He's probably going to be 99 throw on the pressure, 99 throw on the run. He's going to be a really OP card. So if you pull him, I would estimate that he's going to be probably for about 2.5 or something like that to start. Unless his release is absolutely garbage. If his release is garbage, it might be nasty and people will realize that William Perry is still the best card overall because of speed and the way that he throws the ball. It's a very super fast release. All right, moving right along. These players you can get for free. All right, Hitner. I've never heard him be called Hitner. If you're a Niner fan, let me know. I know he was a big hitter, but I don't remember this man being called Hitner. I just don't. You know, I, I, like I listened to the commentators um, when he actually played. He would knock your block off all the time, but I just don't remember that specifically being the case that they called him Hitner. Now, you see the Avalanche symbol that's right there? There's a possibility that this safety will be serious business. And we know Avalanche works because we've tried it on Ray Lewis and several other cards, the Grunks, the cards that come uh, with it starting on. So we know it works. Depending on what happens with him, 
and uh, the X-Factor, he may be a good player to add to your squad. Because it's always worth it to get a fumble. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's it's always just, like, dude, like, we, we always want them, but it's very, very hard to get. Even right now, with the way that the fatigue is, the players don't get tired after the play is over. They get, the, you know, their stamina goes right back up. So it's really hard to cause a fumble. So if you have a player that can do that, it might be worth your while. He's one of the players we're going to talk about getting for free. And then finally, the Icky. A lot of you guys don't know about the Icky Shuffle, but you can see the way it looked on the actual cover of the card. Now, I myself, I'm going to still be focused in and locked in with Barry Sanders. Why? Because Barry Sanders is just a GOAT right now. And to go, for, go up one plus speed doesn't really matter to me, so I'm not really going to go crazy about it. I want to see if they add his... Um, his dance animation though but that 98 excel is a problem because if you use one of those um those blue strat cards and get acceleration like the sprinter not the blue it might be the purple ones i'm going to show you what i'm talking about in a second but um they have one that sprinter and 99 excel might be the real deal on a running back like let's just talk about it so you may see a lot of people running with him but again right now i'm not sure which route we're going i will let you guys know tomorrow while we're live on stream all right so now we're going to jump into the set and we're going to break down how you're going to be able to go ahead and get these cards for free all right so now we are back and we are ready to go and we're going to be jumping over to the set right now and we're going to be focusing in on the actual aka cruise all right now remember at the end of this promo probably a little bit before it you're going to be able to get a free 94 champion also all right, it's gonna be B and D, but you can always sell the cards that you make right back and just be ready to go. Now, the average prices of these cards, I'm gonna show you, these are, the, these are the sets that we're gonna be using, and we're obviously gonna be starting at the 87, and we're gonna I'm gonna give you guys the blueprint of what we're gonna be doing. You don't make the 91 though, until the cards are released, so you can add the 91 into the set. But I just wanna give you guys an idea of the price ranges. All right, so look, these are the limits that I was talking about, right? You see how the limited are stat, like they stay around a certain amount of millions because of the rarity of it. So if you pull one, and for whatever reason at the height, people are going crazy. I saw people buy Calvin for 2.7, 2.8, okay? So if you get that to happen, sell the card and just buy it back later. All right, because it'll level out, but you will always have an advantage with the coins that you make in regards to the limiteds. You can see that some of the uh, lower overall ones, as they release, they maintain a certain amount, but Mata Beast is really, really good in the run game, so he's maintaining a higher average price. Nobody's really using Pastor not. Um, you know, Hester is pretty good because he gets that zero AP uh, return man, and as you go through, you'll see, you know, uh, 646, because Bullock is actually pretty good as well. So we're gonna go ahead and say, it's going to more than likely be around 600k for the 94 overall champions that you're going to be probably making with these instructions. All right. So depending on how much you spend, um, you can work it out to sell it and get your coins back. Or if you want to keep the card, you can focus in on what we're going to do right now. Remember this though, right? It's specific to AKA. It's not any 91. It's specific. So you have to make the 91s or when you're making cards to make coins, to sell, or whatever you're gonna do, right? Because look, this is the thing right here that I wanted to point out. Doing this right now is probably a little bit more tedious because you gotta do this, you gotta make seven of them. You see it, it amounts to about 70K, whatever it is, right? It, it probably, well actually no, it's actually eight, not even seven, yo, that's wild. But the eight times the amount, the 91s usually go for about 100K, all right? So this is just something that I like to kind of give insight into. You just have to do this one once. That's it, right? Because you have to do it for the card that actually is released on that day. Like if you're gonna get Icky, you would have to use this set after Icky is released and make the 191 here. Everything else that you have, right? You're going to use other currency from other cards that you make. And I know a lot of you guys are like, yo, what do you mean, G? You can go ahead, right? Because of the way that people are buying up the 87s and they're spending money for it, you can make 87s and sell them individually and get those coins and buy the 91s outright. What do I mean by that? When you go over here, remember, you can get any of the 491s that are available right now and just have it set. So you would look for the cheapest one. Um, let's just find, I think Dobbs might be one of the guys that are cheap, but he's gonna still be a little bit over 100K. You might be able to snipe it, right? So he's about 130. Everybody knows that the prices are going up. So, you know, between 100 and 130, you could probably snipe these cards, right? So you have to make up all of that currency. How do you make that currency, right guys? You use other 91s. 
Okay, so everything look right now looks like they're about 130. So you have to average trying to make between 100 and 130 per set that you complete to be able to buy those cards outright. For the actual 191 that you're gonna need, you're just gonna make them here with, with the 85s that you have. All right, now, this right here, I'm just showing you because we're gonna do this on stream, right? We're gonna make all of them probably, you know, once, once the cards drop, We'll just get all the 87s, we'll do that set once, and we'll get that new 91, because at launch, the new 91s are a tad bit more expensive. In the meantime, this is how you're going to make the other cards. You're going to utilize the other currencies that you have in your binder right now, and start making cards that you can sell. All right, what do I mean by that, right? The average 91, like a regular 91, goes for about 80 to 90K. So you can make up with the basic garbage that you have inside of your binder right now, you can start making these cards and selling them and accumulating currency. Or you can make 88s and sell them also, you know, because we can do that out of the Division Dynasty and they go for about 40 to 50K a pop. You can do it however way you want. This one right here, I don't know, because people are still actually using Ed Reed. Yeah, he's yeah, I'm about to say, 98K he just sold for. Whatever it is, right, you're going to utilize these various sets. I would focus in on that one right there. I'm going to obviously sell that card and uh, get currency towards the 91s I'm going to need. And this is the other program, um, the Madden one, the All Madden. Where are you at? Where are you at, All Madden? Right here. Because a lot of these cards, right, a lot of these 91s, we're just going to be able to sell them and you know make the coins up to buy the other 91s for cheaper amounts regardless of what their prices are you're going to utilize other sets to make the oh, actually no you're going to get you because people still use uh you know they complete your set whatever and um we're going to go now and check the prices of these cards all right and that's what we're going to do we're just going to mix and max and you know mix match and figure out the sets that we're creating for the cards that we can sell create the currency and then you know pretty much go ahead and buy the 91s that we need and then create the 191 overall card that's available you know what i'm saying at the time of the launch for instance like i said with icky if you want to sell the card though you can still do it where you buy some of the cards and you make some and then sell it anyway so either way you're going to get it for free because you're not spending all your coins you're trying to make coins off of it or you're putting together the sets to make it for as cheap as possible so we're going to go ahead and take this 78 right here um just to give you guys an idea of what we're doing because i do this all day when i need coins just you know what i'm saying make make cards sell them make cards sell them and the only reason we're doing it this way is because it's specific to the aka program so we don't want to keep doing it whatever so that's 89 we could sell this one for like i guess like 84 put it up for eight hours somebody will buy it and we just keep doing this over and over again with the cards that we have in our binder. And then before you know it, you're gonna have a ton of coins and uh, you'll be all set and be ready to go. Actually, I could go like 84, yeah. I'll uh, put it for eight hours. And um, you know, you accumulate like that. And like I said, if you wanna go like the long, long route, you can make, you can keep making the 85s. Uh, make, keep making 85s and use them in the AKA crews to make the 87s and just sell 87s. And that's what you wanna do. But ideally, I'm only gonna do this once for the card that I ultimately want, which is gonna probably be, be Icky. We'll try him out and see what he's doing, and then we'll get you know currency for the other 91s, buy the 91 overall AKAs, and make the cards. Hopefully this has been informative to you and you guys understand what's going on. Do not quick sell your lower level cards. You can make so much money by utilizing them. We have so much more coming here at G Miles World. Stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. Enjoy the football today. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.